हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ इन न्यूज टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हाउ ए आई कैन हेल्प द एनवायरमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ लुक एट द न्यूज देन वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और ए आई हाउ डज ए आई वर्क हाउ कैन ए आई हेल्प टैकल क्लाइमेट चेंज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द न्यूज न्यू टूल्स लाइक चैट जी पी टी हैव जनरेटेड अ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन द पास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स but ai powered technology has already been playing a growing role in our lives and economies for some time ai has also been touted as a powerful tool to help tackle global crises such as climate change now let's discuss what is artificial intelligence that is ai artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines especially computer systems specific applications of ai include expert systems natural language processing speech recognition and machine vision now let's discuss how does ai work in general ai systems work by ingesting large amounts of labeled training data analyzing the data for correlations and patterns and using these patterns to make predictions about future states in this way a chatbot that is fed examples of text can learn to generate life like exchanges with people or an image recognition tool can learn to identify and describe objects in images by reviewing millions of examples new rapidly improving generative ai techniques can create realistic text images music and other media ai programming focuses on cognitive skills that include the following learning this aspect of ai programming focuses on acquiring data and creating rules for how to turn it into actionable information the rules which are called algorithms provide computing devices with step by step instructions for how to complete a specific task reasoning this aspect of ai programming focuses on choosing the right algorithm to reach a desired outcome self correction this aspect of ai programming is designed to continually fine tune algorithms and ensure they provide the most accurate results possible creativity this aspect of ai uses neural networks rules based systems statistical methods and other ai techniques to generate new images new text new music and new ideas now let's understand how can ai help tackle climate change saving trees with ai guardians deforestation and land use changes cause more than 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions trees absorb carbon dioxide and store it for long periods of time and when they are cut down much of that co2 escapes into the atmosphere to curb illegal land clearing the non-profit rainforest connection attaches acoustic monitoring sensors to trees that eavesdrop on the surrounding forest and transmit that audio in real time to the cloud the data is analyzed by a machine learning model that has been trained to recognize sounds linked to illegal logging such as a chainsaw or truck alerts are then sent out to authorities on the ground almost 600 of these devices dubbed guardians have been installed in 35 countries from brazil to indonesia congo to the philippines according to the non-profit's website it says they have collected more than 107 million minutes of audio data covering more than 4 lakh hectares of land A recent report estimated that by empowering authorities to use AI tools to preempt the destruction of rainforest government could save around 29 gigatons of emissions by 2030 shrinking the carbon footprint of steel materials such as steel and cement are important components in construction but they are also heavy CO2 emitters making decarbonizing these industries a priority steel production alone accounts for around a quarter of greenhouse gas emissions from the manufacturing sector a big part of this share comes from the mining and transportation of ingredients used in the production process us company ferro labs has been working with five american steel plants and ai to reduce the amount of mined ingredients or alloys by up to a third Firo Labs AI driven optimization software learns from historical data to recommend the minimum amount of new additional material if any that needs to be added According to a report by the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence Firo Labs has prevented an estimate 450000 tons of CO2 emissions per year by skipping the mining smelting and transporting of these alloys 
If scaled to the entire industry in the US, the report estimates annual savings of 11.9 million tons of CO2. That's equivalent to about a quarter of New York City's yearly carbon emissions. Cutting energy waste in buildings. In Hong Kong, energy use in buildings is responsible for about 60% of the city's carbon emissions. With 7.5 million inhabitants, the finance hub is one of the most densely populated places in the world. About a quarter of its total electricity consumption comes from heating, ventilation and air conditioning, that is, HVAC systems in commercial buildings. Design firm Arup came up with an app called Neuron that uses 5G and Internet of Things sensors to gather real-time data from a building's energy management system. It then uses an algorithm to analyze this data and optimize the heating and cooling system as well as make predictions for the building's future energy demand. According to the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence report, these tweaks can save 10 to 30 percent of the energy used in a typical commercial building. Fighting poaching with algorithms. Poaching and habitat destruction caused rhino numbers to dwindle throughout the 20th century. Most species are now considered endangered and mainly survive in protected reserves or sanctuaries, but they are still targeted for their horns. The South Africa-based company Roxel Technology has developed AI-enabled bracelets that fit around rhinos' ankles to help conservation teams easily locate the animals and monitor their behavior in real time. The company's algorithms use machine learning to spot when an animal is exhibiting abnormal movement patterns, a signal that it might be distressed, for example, if poachers are close. It then sends an alert to wildlife operations centers and anti-poaching teams. The devices are being used at different sites from Kenya down to South Africa. Smart farming. Agriculture is vulnerable to climate change with unpredictable temperatures, more frequent extreme weather events and invasive pests, all posing a risk to crop yields. At the same time, the farming sector itself contributes to the problem agriculture, forestry and land use account for around 18% of global CO2 emissions. And then there is the fact that agriculture irrigation is responsible for 70% of water use worldwide. Fertilizer and pesticides used on fields can also end up in groundwater and nearby rivers. Germany-based startup Agvolution has developed an AI system that draws on data from solar-powered sensors monitoring the microclimate around crops. The devices measure temperature, humidity, radiation, and soil moisture in the field, while algorithms use these insights to make precise recommendations about plant health and exactly how much water and fertilizer to use. This can both boost yields and reduce wasted resources. The company says this can increase ecological and economic efficiency by up to 40%. Now here comes the sun, using computers to plot clouds. Ramping up renewable energy is a crucial step in transitioning away from fossil fuels. But with clean energy sources such as solar making up a bigger share of the energy mix, ensuring power grids are stable becomes more tricky. When clouds move over solar panels, the power supply can suddenly drop off. That's a problem for network operators who are trying to balance the grid and prevent blackouts. To fill any gaps, the need to have generation reserves running in the background that can quickly be ramped up when there is a risk of power shortage. And these reserves usually come from fossil fuels. Non-profit Open Climate Fix has teamed up with the UK's national grid and uses AI to provide a precise picture of how clouds develop. The goal being to reduce the reliance on fossil powered reserves. Open Climate Fix is also piloting its forecasting models in two countries in Southern Europe and is in talks to run a pilot in Asia. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.